What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my expanded bonanza of junk that we're doing. Um, this is a deck that I've been working on a little bit. It's Zora Exodia. Uh, I know Exodia is not the correct term. I guess it's Handlock. Um, I tried to make... The last format, we had the whole um, Zora deck that got rid of the whole hand with the delinquent red card, Marshadow, turn one, peaking red card, you know, the whole good old shebang combo that didn't let people play the game. So I tried to find a deck that would you know, maybe emulate the degeneracy of getting rid of a turn one hand. And I thought, what can I do to emulate that combo? And so unfair GX is the first thing that came to my mind, where you look at your opponent's hand and discard two. And then if you can go unfair GX, Mars, chip, chip, ice axe in the same turn, you can set your opponent to a lower hand size. And you lock them for about two turns because... After that, you really don't have a way to lock them, so then you just become a Mew 3 deck that swings at them with Emerald Break and knocks out everything. So that's the game plan. Um, I don't know how good of a game plan it is. This deck is, I've played like maybe five games with this on stream, and like, it's been okay. I'm going to try some more out um, here with you guys on this video, because I've been asked to do some gameplay. So let's go through the list. There's four Shaman, because a lot of this is you need to go turn one, get your setup. You need to put them to a really low hand size turn one. And if you don't, a lot of the time, they can actually just play the game and expanded. And, and you don't want that. You don't want people to play the game and expanded. There's one Emerald Break Boy, because we just want to amplify the amount of damage we can do um, with the Skyfield combo. Because Zorak still does the 20 times, but 30 times just makes things faster. Because they're going to eventually get out of the lock, probably. So we just want to kill them as quickly as possible. Uh, this is where a Hudge Crow GX with the unfair GX comes in. Uh, we just look at their hand, discard two, and move on with our lives. Right is beating is with the attack we want in here. We have no Zeroos in here. I'm sure you've noticed at this point. Two eggs because we do want to get them on the bench with Skyfield. And they are useful for using Ultra Balls, uh, Comp Search. Um, you know the drill. There's one, Dedenne GX. Um, pretty good card. You don't need more than one. You already have four Shamans. Uh, one Marshadow Let Loose just in case you need to reset your hand also early. Because we don't play that many draw supporters. By that I mean we play... Two pseudo draw supporters and uh, an and, 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 and. That's about it. Um, there's four Mew 3s because we want to have open him as much as possible because we have the opportunities Quaking Punch, Unfair, or Rydus Beating, or Emerald Break. And Sky Return is like, we can reset the option. Um, Lele, one Lele is fine because we can find one of the cheeky supporters we have. Um, one Toad. Because Quaking Punch is really good too to just set up the lock if we have a little bit of a store start. Three Compressors because we do want to thin our deck as quickly as possible to find the pieces that we need and get these potentially dead draws out of our deck. There's three Chip Chip Ice Axe because we want to control the top card of our opponent's deck uh, as soon as possible. And the Chip Chip Ice Axe is the item that will help us do it. Uh, one Comp Search. One Field Blower. Um, Garb decks are a little bit annoying. And the biggest issue is Parallel. Um, so if they can get a Parallel down turn one, that's where we need to find either a Counter Stadium or a Field Blower. And as opposed to playing four Skyfield, I think one Field Blower is decent better because we can get rid of like a Float Stone or a Silent Lab. or you know, like There's a lot of like random good cards that we can get rid of with a one of Field Blower. That I like. There's two order pads because this let us get um, the A spec uh, or the chip chip or you know whatever really. It's it's just a good flip card and a burn card that let us draw more cards of shaman. One peaking red card because we just need to do the turn one combo once and once we unfair, then we can pretty much lock them where we need them to be. Three red cards because we do need to hit the turn one, put them at four cards at least, and unfair our Mars to get them done three. Uh, they get one for turn, so we're trying to keep them at a low hand size as possible so they can't pop off. One special charge. Four Trainer's Mail, four Ultra Bowl, three VS Seekers, because we don't have that many supporters, honestly. Three Skyfield, one Guzma, because you don't really need the Guzma, but in case something like a threat pops up on the bench, we might need to deal with it. Um, there's two Hikers, because we do need to control our opponent's top deck at a certain point in the time. Uh, there's going to be two Mars, because we do want to mitigate their hand size. One end, so we don't deck. The end is purely the end and Marshadow, just so we don't deck and lose the game uh, by going too fast. Uh, two Float Stones, because we need to move out of the active, and four Double Colorless. Energies. Wait, I have unsaved changes. All right, let's save the deck. Uh, let's play a game with Zoro Exodia. So I, I've played a couple games on stream. I think it's really cheeky. I don't think you'd ever beat Turbo Dark, um, but you should be able to get rid of a lot of decks' hand sizes. I think Turbo Dark is one of the few decks that just vomits board presence and you can't do anything about it, which is unfortunate, uh, which is why I think it's one of the best decks in the format currently. But otherwise, yeah. And if you guys watched my Greed's Rushy video already, which you probably have, yikes, thank God I didn't open a basic. Um, you guys know that I missed an A-spec. Uh, it's just a comp search. I've made sure to not miss an A-spec since then. It's just embarrassing, actually. I like built that at 4 a.m. and I was like, this idea is cool, but I don't know where I'm going with this. So here we are. This ends pretty good. Um, a Sycamore, one of Sycamore would be really broken. But if I trainers been able to an Ultra Ball, it's also pretty good. We gave him a couple mulligans, so this is unfortunate. But do we have a red card? 
we were playing Mew 3 Mirror, it looks like. Um, ha, ah, but he thinks we're playing Mirror, but I'm not actually Mirror. Wait, I've mulliganed like four times, so he probably knows what I'm playing at this point. So is he playing Mega Guardi? Yeah, he's playing the Mega Guardi version. So once he gets an energy attachment and a stadium, he's pretty much big chilling, um, it looks like, because I saw Fairy earlier and Dragon earlier. So he's probably doing that version. But if I can um, unfair GX away his whole hand, I'd be okay. And then I should be I should be okay. I should be okay if I can do this. He's going to Compressor. He's going to set up this turn. There's nothing we can do about it. We went second. But going second also means we can unfair and he can't. So... So this is uh this is what's going on. This is another deck that I think if this is a Guardi Mega Guardi version, I know Flex Daddy Righteous JW Crewall has been very good at um doing this, and I've I've watched his stream a little bit. And Despair Ray for one energy seems really good with the Giratinas because you get the pings with Distortion Door, and then you can Despair Ray and thin your bench. This seems like actually one of the best decks in Expanded right now, also because it holds a candle to Turbo Dark, um based on the damage output you can do. But I think Turbo Dark is overall. The strongest deck right now. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, check out Flex Daddy Righteous's stream videos. Uh, JW Crewell is an awesome guy. He's been streaming a lot of other expanded too. I know a lot of content creators are jumping on expanded right now, but um, I know JW and I have been streaming expanded for a little bit. So Comp Search, he's just going, going, going right now. He's got th the te three Tinas in discard. Probably grabbed like a supporter, like a he got the Prism and he's got probably got Sycamore in hand. Be a seeker for Sycamore, yeah. Oh, he compressed the Sycamore. I'm kidding. He probably grabbed VS Seeker then. Maybe I would do... I mean, you just grab Raw Sycamore at that point out of the VS. So he probably grabbed Prism. So this is why Expanded is uh, whack. Because your opponent gets to play a ton of cards whenever they want. Now he's got a Choice Band on. He's got another Compressor. So he's just thinning, thinning, thinning. It's going to make it a little bit difficult to unfair GX and give him an unplayable hand. Ranger. He doesn't know what we're playing. But he's playing a Ranger. So he's already prepared for Neuvern. Um, and he let loose to us. What? This is not how it's supposed to go, guys. I'm supposed to be the one getting rid of his hand. Oh, no. This is not looking good for us, guys. So we're going to bench this. Okay. We're going to start with a peeking. See what's going on in his hand. <laughs> I can unfair GX his hand, so I'm going to let him keep it. This is the hand I want to unfair GX away. Okay. Looks like we're not unfairing anything away this turn, actually. Okay, this is really unfortunate. Our hand uh, is not good. All right, we're going to pass. We sham it into a bunch of dead cards. This is this is unfortunate. Maybe he takes some prizes. Maybe he gives us a chance to get back in this game. Can he Oko us? A 110. 1, 2, 3, 140, 150, 180. So no, he can't Oko us here. But it does put us in a really sticky spot. Um... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how we come back from this right now, because he's already set up. So we need to find uh, an Ultra Ball, Comp Search, Shaman, anything off the top really would be okay here. That's a Hunchcore. We're going to go ahead and concede and try this again. We're going to try this one more time. Um, the deck worked a lot better on stream, I promise you guys. You had to just catch it. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Monday through Thursday. You got to be there. It's a whole stream. If you're not there, you're not square. You know what I'm saying, guys? Um... Yeah, that was just that was just not a good that was just not a good game actually. Uh, I don't know why that happened. I I don't I don't know why that happened actually. Um, all right, all right. So we've got a dark fighting clueless. So it's probably dark box, right? It's probably dark box, which is also a terrible matchup for us. Um, so not good, not good. We win the coin flip. Okay, all right. We got a chance. We got a chance to do something here. Um. Okay, this hand is also pretty bad. Okay, all right, what's going on today? What is going on today? I built a very consistent deck, and this is not what's supposed to happen. All right. Benching a lot of stuff. Okay, he's... Bench one more thing. Maybe I just go Mars immediately. Buzzwole. Okay, what the heck? 
Buzz Buzz Zorok. I don't care. I'm just gonna kill him at this point. I would grab a Dedenne because more than likely I'm gonna have to pitch my hand. I don't care about what I draw into, um, unless it's like a bunch of double color synergies, in which case I'd have to hold. Um, so it's one double color, so just fine. Let's mail. We have a VS to follow up. I'm gonna Mars this turn. Okay, that's a dark energy. That's fine. Dark energy. What? We are the Honchcrow. We have pretty much all the perfect stuff we need. We'll bench Toad in case of shenanigans. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and do that. I think just drawing a new hand of six is good. I don't really like those cards. They do something, but they're not like proactive enough, right? So now we can chill here. Given the fact that it's active as a buzzwool, maybe I just go for the Emerald Break instead of going for the Lock. Um, but I also could just lock him here and see what happens. Well, he has an Oranguru, so I no longer want to lock him. That's really annoying. Now, who's playing Oranguru and Expended? Why are you playing Oranguru and Expended? That doesn't even actually make any sense. He benched his second puzzle. That's, why, who's, why are you playing Oranguru and Expended, dude? Who hurts you like this? So we're just going to go ahead and Mars again. Um, we're just going to keep fitting his hand. Uh, even though he has a Guru, I don't care. Oh, okay, sure, all right. I guess we're going on maintenance in 10 minutes. So we're going to end this game in 10 minutes, guys. Honestly, we're just going to Emerald Break. I'm just over it. I'm going to kill this guy. We have 10 minutes. Speed run. So this guy's playing a bad deck, it looks like. Uh, we get the Guzma out of our prizes. Uh, chip Chip, so we can start controlling top decks. But he gets a card off Ranguru every time, so it's really annoying. I didn't even have to do anything to his hand. He just isn't playing the game. He's got Fighting and Dark in the same deck. Very strange. Okay, he had a Cynthia. He gets to play the game. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really know what's going on. He's going to like rock something up. We have the Guzma already in hand. Um, if we get... What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's already enough. So I can already just Emerald like this Lycanroc. I feel like the Lycanroc is the only chance he has of coming back into this game. So I'm just going to probably Guzma that and blow it up. Um, is that a beast? No, it's a unit, right? No, it's a beast. Um, I don't think we care about the beast energy coming down, so we're just going to go ahead and Guzma Lycanroc. Um, I don't, I don't really know what's going on. I don't know. This guy's deck is not, is not doing anything. Um, so we're just going to bench some Egg Boys. And we're going to go ahead and, uh, Emerald Break. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. We can just say that we handlocked him even though we didn't actually do anything. So we did something, but not anything. Really? Why, dude? You're literally just letting me discard stuff. The game is actually just over. Um, I don't know what he can do in any shape, way, or form here. Um, this is actually kind of cute. Maybe this card gets good. But no, if I'm playing Hitmon Wall, I want to be playing Shrine. So there's no way I'd be playing this card. Um, maybe this gives Buzzwall a chance to come back? No, I don't think so. Because so what's, what's, like, what's Buzzwall's biggest, like, problem in Expanded right now? It can't deal with, um, well, yeah, Mew 3 exists. Yeah, well, that's one thing. It can't deal with Mew 3. Uh, it probably can't deal with, um, Archie's either still. Archie's was a bad matchup for it. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's, I don't know what's going on here, but, uh, this is just not, 
Yeah, fighting doesn't seem good in expanded. Uh, other than Hitmonchan and Wob, I think Hitmon Wob is still a decent deck. It can cheese wins because of the Wob. Um, so that's that's all I got for you. Well, this is this has been a very productive and entertaining video. I'm just gonna go ahead and body him. We're gonna use a hiker just for the sake of it. All right, we're gonna hiker um, just so we locked him. You know, I got him. All right, that's the game. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please subscribe. I will leave the deck list in the comments below so you can copy and paste the deck list because people have been asking for that. I stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekday. So be there or be square. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.